Hello, everyone, and welcome to Virginia today. My name is Hani, and I am the Education USA Advisor at the Fulbright Commission in Prague. And today, I've got three special guests. I've got Matli, Amanda, and Kyle. They are all Fulbright grantees, and today, they're going to walk you through Virginia. Thank you guys for uh, being here with me. Sure. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we could. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I did this slide. So this is just kind of like a uh, introduction to Virginia. The top picture, we'll start with the pictures because I'm a picture guy, uh, <laughs> is Richmond, Virginia. That's where I'm from. Um, the middle picture is Arlington, I believe, which is in Northern Virginia. And Mogley, I believe you're from Northern Virginia, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So the acronym Northern Virginia, we call it NOVA. Mm -hmm. So some fun fact. And then the last picture is Virginia Beach, and that's our statue of Poseidon. Mm -hmm. um, very popular beach. And a lot that's of people- That's where I'm from. Oh, so <laughs> I, I didn't even know that. And we it's got- so far <laughs> Awesome. So yeah, just moving on with Virginia. It was one of the first states actually founded uh, as a Virginia colony or as a US, uh, British colony. So we have a huge amount of history in our state. Um, we have basically everything you can ask for, cities, suburban, rural, mountains, beaches, lakes, rivers, we got it all. Mm -hmm. um, all four seasons, which is, it's cold in the winter. It's pretty cold. I think it gets to about as cold as the Czech Republic here. Mm -hmm. um, mild temperatures in the spring and fall. So you're going to have your hot days and your cold days. Um, and then it can get really hot in the summer. I mean, it's not Death Valley hot, but it's pretty hot. Um and Magali and Amanda, I'm sure you can attest to that we love our East Coast weather, where it can be seven <laughs> degrees one day, you know, blizzard in two days. <laughs> and then oh, we're, yes. we're just having a rainstorm on Thursday, you know. <laughs> it's very least, up and down. Yeah. At least it doesn't run every uh, rain every day like in some other states. Um, that's <laughs> that's the very true. At least you're not Seattle. <laughs> mm. uh, Washington. <laughs> Yeah. And so um, I've, for me, I've uh, divided uh, Virginia up into three areas, in my opinion. We do have Southwest Virginia, but there's not, a, it's, that's not a whole population. That's kind of a culture. So mm -hmm. first we have Richmond, like I said, it's where I'm from. And that's Central Virginia. That's in the middle of Virginia. Then we have Mogley, Nova, mm -hmm. Northern Virginia, near DC. You're going to get a mm -hmm. lot. That's where like the, I think the majority of people in Virginia are. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have the Tidewater area, which is Amanda, where you're from. And that's <laughs> basically the area around the ocean in the bay. I have to admit, I didn't realize that, but, you know, preparing for this presentation, I realized that I actually visited Virginia um, <laughs> many, many years ago. My aunt lived there and she worked at the University of Virginia and she showed me the campus. The only thing I remember was that there, were, there was a free tea. So I remember drinking a lot of free tea, <laughs> but uh, everything was um, blue and orange. And I actually still have that t-shirt of University of Virginia. It was amazing. So yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I actually lived there last year. I lived in Charlottesville, really? Virginia last year. Yeah. I lived about half a mile from campus. So I would, wow. I would go to the campus like almost every day walking my dog. Cool. That is the world is small. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, should I turn it? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Oh. okay, so <laughs> I'll continue. Um, our first university on the list is uh, the university I went to, and Magali, you went here as well, right? Yes, I went there my first year, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. so Magali and I both went here for one year together. I was here for three years, two years undergrad, one year master's. Um, it's called James Madison University and our colors are purple and gold. Um, that is our mascot, the Duke dog. He is a royal dog. Um, and then on the right, you can see our main campus, which we call the quad. So mm -hmm. we can go to the next slide. I can talk a little bit more. All well, right. My question would be, Kyle, you said that you, were, you went there for three years altogether. Mm -hmm. So you studied elsewhere as well. Yes, I studied at uh, Greensboro College in North Carolina first for two mm -hmm. years. And I transferred, studied uh, 
another three years at James Madison University to finish up my college career. So cool. Guys, if you want to study bachelor's degree in the U.S., it takes four years, right? Sometimes you can squish it, but it is one year longer than normally in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like mixed up with the, with the years with you. <laughs> yeah. It's confusing sometimes. It can even take longer. It could take five years for a bachelor's. <laughs> okay. All right. That's me. So I'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so Shenandoah, it, uh, Jamie is located in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Um, so like I put in parentheses, there's lots of hikes. Uh, you have Shenandoah National Park, I think 20 minutes from campus, which is mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. Um, we went on a lot of hikes when I was there. Uh, the one bad part is it's in the valley. So if you're hoping for those snow days, don't expect them. Um, <laughs> we only get hit by the huge snowmageddons that happen every like two years. Um, and <laughs> Harrisonburg loves to be extremely prepared. The one time we thought we were going to have multiple days off, we did not. We had like maybe a day before Virginia <laughs> or the, the university was like, all right, we got the road salted. Come on back. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, Virginia, uh, James Madison is very proud of its business, um, academy mm -hmm. and they have put tons and tons of money. I mean, I went back to visit it last year, mm -hmm. um, to go see a professor and I'm telling you, they put in so much money into this business school. They got mm -hmm. a new building and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it's also, it was founded on teaching. So it used to be called Madison College, which was an all girls college that mm -hmm. uh, prided itself on producing teachers. And it still holds that value today. Mm -hmm. um, we got a lot of sports. We just went uh, FBS D1, which means we play in the top league uh, for football. And mm -hmm. we have an array of sports if you're into that, like soccer, volleyball, field hockey, girls lacrosse. Mm -hmm. So you want to see it? we can have it. Um, we have a lot of after school activities and clubs. So some of the things that I did when I was in college was I was a big intramural guy, which is playing for fun. We have a whole system. You do it through the gym that's on the campus and you can sign up for any kind of sport. It is so much fun. Get a team with your friends or go in as a free agent. It does not matter. You can find a team if you want to play. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. extremely low cost. I think it's like 10 bucks. Um, and the last point is a beautiful and growing campus. What I mean growing, I'm telling you, I was there for two, two or three years. And it went from like, I think there was four dorms on East campus. And it just, next thing I know, there's eight. And I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> so <laughs> it's always growing. Money's being poured into the academics to make sure you have the best experience. Mm -hmm. And Magali, if you want to add anything since you went there for a year as well, feel, feel free. It is a very beautiful campus. Um, I think what I remember the most about Jamie and still to this day are how friendly the um, professors are, especially like the chemistry department. Um, so if you have to take chemistry classes, um, they are there are a lot of opportunities for you to get like extra support. So if, if you're just coming to campus and have never taken a class in chemistry before, um, every week, it, this can also be at other schools, um, but they, the, for the teachers, they will have times when you can come, you know, as a class mm -hmm. and have time to do extra practice questions. Um, so these are what are called like the learning seminars. I think that's what the word is, Kyle, I, Jamie, learning seminars. Yeah, learning seminars. Yes, learning, learning seminars. So you get extra practice with the whatever you're learning in class, you can bring your questions. Um, so Jamie definitely has this, especially for chemistry, um, if that's mm -hmm. a topic you struggle as well as other subjects. Um, so everyone's mm -hmm. friendly. Mm -hmm. Big fun fact. Um, it is true at JMU, people hold doors. Oh um, so <laughs> it is true. Like, as it's you're walking, very true. I've exactly. seen someone hold a door for someone who is 20 feet away, and the guy like started like running out of like being polite. So he didn't right. hold the door longer. Right. So <laughs> it, exactly. Right. But it makes it really such a funny thing to see. Difference. It makes a difference for sure. Um, so that is something if you've never. Um, felt or noticed like it really helps create like a smaller community just mm -hmm. a lot of happiness just comes from just holding that door um, 
Yeah. <laughs> this, this That's such a cool fact. New motto. Oh it's, it's pretty <laughs> funny. You'll you'll see someone like coming. You'll be like, I can hold this for a few more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> when you're late to class, you're still holding the door. Yeah. Why are you late to class? I was holding the door for like the entire class. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun college. All right. Next. All right. Mm-hmm. Do I have this one as well? Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my computer. Here okay. we are. <laughs> All right, University of Virginia. I didn't go here, but I live very close to it. I had some friends that went there and I dated someone that went there. So I'll tell you a little bit about Virginia. I absolutely loved living here. Okay. You know, just the entire community is behind this school. It's very different from JMU in that sense. So the community is not really with the university, while at the University of Virginia, the community is with the university. So you'll see locals backing the sport, the sports team. You'll be you'll see a lot of locals get really involved with the university, which is really cool to see. Like I never mm-hmm. went to the University of Virginia, but I felt uh, some pride when I saw them, you know, win in basketball or Virginia or hear that they're mm-hmm. building their academics up. Like it felt good because um, they do such a great job with uh, connecting with the community. Um, they are a very prestigious college in the state of Virginia, and I would also argue in the United States itself. They're very well known in a lot of different uh, aspects. They are one of the top law and medical schools in the country, so if that's something you're interested in, you'll most likely want to look into Virginia. They love their med school. Um, They pride themselves on that. Mm -hmm. Um, they have good D1 programs, not so great in football this year. We're not going to talk about that one. Um, <laughs> basketball is their bread and butter right now. They love a good basketball team. They do have some nice traditions, I will say. I wasn't a part of them, but I, uh, hearing from my friends and stuff, like it's very, it's a very traditional school and they have a lot of culture built around those traditions. Mm-hmm. Um, just like JMU, I'd say a beautiful campus. If you look at in the top picture, um, that is the equivalent to our quad at JMU, they call it the lawn. Um, Mm -hmm. The main building in the middle of that picture is a Jefferson building, I believe. And it's like the main centerpiece. I walked by that bad boy like at least five times a week. And I I got used to it, which I kind of felt bad about because I was like, it's a beautiful building, but it's just right there on campus. You can't miss it. Mm -hmm. Um, It's also in the Shenandoah Mountains which is really cool to be a part of. Like, so how I sold you guys that JMU was in the valley, 20 minutes away from the mountains. You're really in the mountains at Charlottesville. Mm-hmm. Like you can drive, I drove 10 minutes uh, down the road and was on a hike um, from my apartment, which was mind blowing. I loved it. Um, if you look down at the bottom picture, you see historic downtown Charlottesville. Uh, this is one of the beautiful like it's very small. I wouldn't say like, don't be thinking like, oh, it's Prague. Um, like it's very small, but in that strip of historic downtown, you'll see so many beautiful buildings. The cobblestone is so much fun to walk on and just to see all the shops around. There's a lot of bookshops, by the way, if you love books, Charlottesville. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I was talking about uh, its academics, it has great academics all around. Uh, mm-hmm. I met a lot of students through... Uh, because I worked as a teacher there last year, I met students in the education department wanting to help other students like tutor our students in the high school. And all those guys were amazing. I uh, would 100 recommend their education program just like I would JMU. Uh, and they really do have a strong alumni network. Uh, you, can, you can really tap into that if you graduate from this university and possibly get a good job. Networking is important. That is really cool to know. Yeah, yeah. My question would be, you mentioned that Charlottesville is not like Pratt, but can you compare it to any Czech city just to get an idea? Mm, maybe. Like tapping into maybe the Pilsen. Czech city. Maybe, maybe Pilsen. Pilsen? Uh-huh. Maybe Pilsen. Okay. Sounds Pilsen, good. When I, when I went to Pilsen, I kind of got the vibe of downtown Charlottesville. Nice. Very good. Mm-hmm. Cool. Next one. All right. So I'm going to talk about Virginia Tech. Uh, I graduated some number of years ago. So uh, I'm not just freshly graduated, but it was an amazing school, amazing experience. Um, 
It is located also in the mountains, uh, but in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is kind of like um, amazing in the sense it's home to bluegrass music, uh, which is very specific kind of American music, if anyone else is interested in that. Um, <laughs> and you also can find a lot of hiking. It's like whitewater rafting. It's a really fun place. So um, it is a big football school. Um, mm -hmm. It is about 27,000 students. And there is an enormous stadium. Like you can see there's, this is like before a game or something on the left-hand side. And there is just a ton of school spirit. So I would say like, that's one of the big things about this school. Um, people are super friendly. They love to have a good time. Um, beautiful campus. Um, the mascot is what is called a hokey bird or fighting go gobbler. So mm -hmm. it's kind of amazing to have like a turkey-like bird as your mascot and have these crazy maroon and orange colors as your school colors. So. Mm -hmm. Those are some perks. Um, so like I said, like if you're interested in hiking or doing anything on the water, this is a great place. They have so many different programs to choose from. Um, there's like over 150 majors to choose. So there is probably something for most people. It is a big STEM school. So if you are into mm -hmm. robotics, engineering, um, as well as architecture design, there's uh, in business, there's great programs for that. I was part of the architecture program, mm -hmm. which we were talking about how many years it takes to complete it. That is a five year program. So it is just mm -hmm. something to note. I would never change it for anything else. So um, those are really great five years. The five and years is just bachelor's? And then you it continue is. on. My, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Continue. So mm -hmm. if, um, and I'm happy if anyone is interested specifically in architecture, there's, there's like some weird things about different types of architecture programs that mm -hmm. if anyone is curious, um, reach out to Hani, please. And mm -hmm. she can connect us because it's, <laughs> it's a little confusing. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. So this is in Blacksburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, lots of majors to choose from big school um it's a rural school so it's not there is like a little city nearby and it, there is like a downtown which is really cute and it's really fun mm -hmm. it has lots of things to do um but it is you do also have like access to outdoors like right there mm -hmm. and it's also pretty cool because they have like a big farming um program agriculture program so there's also like cows and sheep and horses right on your campus too which I thought was pretty great mm -hmm. um despite it being a pretty big school it's a low student to faculty ratio so if uh having um I don't know smaller class sizes is is interesting for you then this mm -hmm. is a great spot mm -hmm. um that said you also sometimes have like 500 person classes um, yeah, it's a great research university, um, and also has different campuses around the state. So, mm -hmm. uh, go Hokies. <laughs> and then you can click this link if you can, if you'd like to know more or just go mm -hmm. to the Virginia Tech homepage. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. My name is Bogley. Um, went to JMU, the school that Kyle went um, for my first year, and then I transferred back home um, to George Mason University um, due to some personal reasons, um, but I really enjoyed my time being back home in Fairfax, um, and I think we can go to the next slide. Oh, a little bit about myself is um, I majored in community health, um, so I did some classes um, that had to do with like chemistry, the biology classes, um, and at George Mason for the major, there are different concentrations you can take. So if you want to become a dentist, there's some other classes. If you just want to major in health, like there are just different opportunities basically with your majors. Um, and a little bit of context to where Fairfax is located 
It's about 20 minutes from the capital, Washington, DC. Um, and with the proximity of it being close, there is a lot of opportunities for internships. Um, so a lot of um, you know, good connections with the local companies. Um, you can do internships with them, some sort of summer programs. Um, so that's very important if you're trying to stay, um, practice your skills as you're in class, as well as get a job. Um, so what I like about George Mason is the amount of diversity. Um, we're ranked as a top 10 public university for diversity. Um, so we do have a lot of international students at our school. Um, every year we hold um, an international week and we usually shorten it up calling it an I week. Um, so we do invite um, different um, like ethnic backgrounds to present their dances. Um, and then we have foods. Um, sometimes even on our, like the middle of campus, we have like the Latino group um, showing the dances as well. So it's just very uh, robust with like the different um, variety of cultures presenting. Um, and that's also the nice thing about being in Nova or like Kyle said, Nova, Northern Virginia. Um, there's a lot of um, diversity within the community as well. Like if you go one direction, you might have a lot of Vietnamese cuisine. You might have a lot of Korean cuisine in another area. So everyone's pretty friendly. Um, and then as for the school, um, there are a lot of majors you can choose from. And then if there's a student organization that you want to make and isn't there, the school's also very supportive of you with just creating your own organization. Um, and there are four campuses. The main campus is the Fairfax campus, um, Mason Square, and I think that's in Arlington. So you have um, like political science over there, um, some law classes. Um, SciTech campus is in Manassas. Um, so if you happen to live on campus, there is a shuttle that takes you to the SciTech campus. So you don't have to worry about having to figure out how you're getting to the locations. Um, that's where they mainly have like some engineering classes or um, some science classes um, or kinesiology as well. So it just really depends on what you're interested in. Um, and then you can also go to South Korea um, if you want for school. Cool. You guys have a South Korea. Wait, you guys have a South That's Korea wild. campus? What? Yes, yeah, so, yep, there's a South Korea campus. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's yeah, so cool. So can, yeah, so you can take a semester there. Um, we have um, study abroad like the other schools as well. So you can also take classes in another school. But yeah, South Korea is a, another partnership. That's interesting. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Madly, I was also going to ask because we have never discussed it before, but as you said, you transfer from one school to another. So yes. Czech students, they might start at one school. How difficult is to transfer? Um, so transferring institutions, um, it isn't hard. I think uh -huh. um, basically what happens is um, when you're switching schools, they uh -huh. see what classes you've taken uh -huh. and based off of the school that you're transferring to, what uh -huh. classes are pretty much like the equivalent. Um, mm -hmm. So for the most part, all the classes, you don't have to repeat anything or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, so it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a fairly easy transition. Um, mm -hmm. There may be times when some of the classes don't count and you mm -hmm. would just have to maybe choose a different class that aligns best with like that major that you're trying to pursue. Um, mm -hmm. Perfect. Did you change majors as well or just schools? Um, so I changed majors. Um, so mm -hmm. at JMU, I was a health science major. Mm -hmm. And then at George Mason, they do not mm -hmm. have health science major. Um, mm -hmm. So the closest thing that I chose was community health. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. then there, I think there may have been like one class that didn't count for um, the honors college, but they were very flexible with just substituting um, things. So I didn't have to retake anything. All right. My next question to you would be, what is an honors college? <laughs> <laughs> um, so the honors college, um, at George Mason is smaller class sizes. Um, and mm -hmm. for George Mason, most of our classes had maybe 10 to 15 individuals. Mm -hmm. um, and for our program, um, I know when you think of the Honors College, you might think of like essays or extra work. Um, but at our school, that was not the case. Um, what that meant is you get to choose the kind of classes you take. Um, and mm -hmm. let's say you have a requirement on English. You can choose a class on like how to make comics um, mm -hmm. for that class, or you can choose, um, what else was there? 
your different classes or a class, instead of taking a history class um, about the US, you could also take a class on um, the different kinds of music that have um, developed in the United States. Um, mm -hmm. So they're just different ways to meet your requirement. Um, and then it's just a smaller community, um, mm -hmm. once again, to just get to know other students and also talk, um, have that interaction more with your, your teacher or professor. And anyone can apply for Honors College? Yes, anyone can apply to the Honors College. It's, I think, just one short essay. Um, mm -hmm. And when I say short, it's very short, uh, maybe mm -hmm. five or six sentences. Um, okay. mainly, yeah, uh -huh. it's pretty short. Um, it's mainly just to see, you know, your creative side. Um, so don't forget mm -hmm. to be creative and just, just be true to who you are. Um, so we welcome anybody to apply. Man, did you have any experience in Honors College as well? No, I do not. <laughs> okay. And Kyle? I had a friend in the Honors College in uh, JMU and it was like just a little extra class. He had to do like a mm -hmm. essay here and there, but it looks, <laughs> it looks great on uh, resumes. So it says then that you graduated with honors or do you get a special paper? Like a fancy no. one? <laughs> okay. No, I wish that <laughs> you graduated with honors on your resume. Okay, okay. Yeah. all right, cool. I oh, remember cool. At, at Virginia Tech, um, there was a specific dorm where everyone would live. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that on fancy. your school too? It was really nice too. Yeah, this <laughs> is like, oh. at JMU. It was an honors college dorm. I think we have, um, so I didn't live on campus, but I think at George Mason, if it's not a dorm, it might be a couple floors. And then you you take classes for the most part with these same students. Um, so you, you keep in contact with them. Yeah. You can also get scholarships for being in the Honors College. Do you have to pay more because you're taking these additional classes? So at George Mason, um, mm -hmm you're not taking additional classes oh, um, they're, they're kind of just substituting for your classes so um, mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense um, let's say you have to take four classes to graduate for a normal mm -hmm. degree for mm -hmm. the honors college you have just different options um, mm -hmm. to make sure you're tackling those classes mm -hmm. um, and you still graduate on time so it's nothing extra of work if okay. that yeah it does thank you okay <laughs> sorry we're good to go. All right. My computer is <laughs> thinking. <laughs> it, it is freezing outside anyway. Yeah. So yeah, I think <laughs> it just works cold. like yeah. <laughs> here we are. There we go. Um, and this just happens to be um what is this? <laughs> I'm trying to forget. Um, it's been a long time. So we do have so the nice thing that building right in the middle of um that picture. That's a recent building. I can't remember what um, majors that top has, um, but we've recently been slowly expanding the campus. So that's one of the new buildings. Um, to the right of it is sub one. So you have your Chick-fil-A there. Um, the left <laughs> building behind that tree is the library. Mm -hmm. um, so you have different, obviously different books there. Um, that's like the middle of campus where you'll find most of like the benches. Um, so usually student organizations are promoting themselves there with like Patriot pitches. If you like to sing, that's an acapella group. Um, mm -hmm. And right here is where they sometimes have fairs um, as well as further down the area um, mm -hmm. is like the Johnson Center where you'll find most of like the tabling events for clubs. Um, but that's just a picture of campus. Um, outside of campus, you are in Nova, so you'll have some traffic. Um, but it's not as bad as Prague. Um, it's like a suburban area, um, some schools in the area, um, places to walk. Um, so yeah, cool. you can go to the next slide. I don't know. I got some strong feelings on 95. <laughs> <laughs> well, got some strong feelings about that highway. But that's far, far, far. <laughs> if you're walking, you got to get to George Mason somehow. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, there's like a park near Ball, Ber uh, Burke Lake Park. That's very close. Um, so if you want to walk around Lake, that's an option. Um, yeah, some good trails. Um, and before I forget, I can't remember what else I have for slides, but um, George Mason also has through the gym, like Kyle mentioned, like intramural sports. Um, mm -hmm. But there is also through the gym, you can sign up 
um, to go to different activities. So sometimes it takes students to the Shenandoah Mountains. Um, you can also learn how to do paddle boarding at the lake that's nearby. So there are different activities that the school has to promote um, physical well-being and mental well-being. Um, and then as far as like admissions, um, so these are like the main things um, for the admissions. Um, you can do some testing just to see. Um, so you can do, as you can read, SAT, ACT. Um, yeah. The English, I would suggest that you look um, the, at the link of the website um, that was on the previous slide, because what I've listed as proficiency requirements are not the only things. So there's some extra ones that may apply to you. Mm -hmm. um, and then application is pretty standard. So you do an online application, um, get a counselor's recommendation, and a short essay would be nice. But if you don't include the essay, that's totally fine. Um, I think we're good. Support. Um, like so this is our mascot. mascot. It's the Patriot. Yes. Yes, it's the Patriot. Yes, this is our <laughs> Patriot. Um, instead of blue and purple, why did I say blue and purple? Purple and gold. <laughs> like blue, who's blue and purple? Those don't <laughs> purple gold from JMU or the maroon from Tech. Our colors are green and gold. <laughs> George Mason. Um, so some yeah, support. Yeah, messed up too there. <laughs> GMU, GMU. <laughs> too many Just Watch out. Sounds. It's a long day, I guess, for all of you. <laughs> Um, so for the scholarships, um, we have merit-based, which are based off of your grades. Um, for being an international student, there are the You Are Welcome Here scholarship. Oh. Um, and then there's also a nice program, which is Into Mason. Um, Into Mason uh, is a program especially designed for international students. Um, so it can be students from any um, different country. Um, these are classes where you're developing, you know, social skills, trying to also get used to the American culture, um, since sometimes culture shock is a thing. Um, so just different um, ways to help you best navigate adjusting to Virginia, for example. Um, that's the whole idea behind um, the Into Mason program. Um, and then once again, it's a smaller community, so you do get to know your peers very well. Um, another program at Mason is the, I don't remember the exact name of the student group, um, but it is also um, international students. And what they do is they partner you with a local student um, from George Mason. And sometimes they do plan activities for you to go into the local community, um, just have coffee, maybe to go to the lake or just different parts, maybe even DC. Um, so it's just to help you um, feel better about adjusting um, to Virginia and the US as well. Yeah, I think that that's a great idea because I remember when I first studied in the U.S., I had I had tons of questions and I <laughs> I didn't want to ask the counselor, you know, all the time because I felt like this is something I need to target like a person my age. And luckily, they assigned me a college buddy, and I was like, okay, let's sit down with coffee. Yes. And I was like, one question at a time, and <laughs> he was so good about it. So that that is actually a tremendous um, idea just to have someone. He's going to walk you through it, especially as an international. Everything was so different. So that's great. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's also a recommendation, um, just in general, like whichever school you end up choosing, whether it's Virginia or maybe even outside of Virginia, like try finding um, someone, um, whether it's someone, you know, your age or even a professor. I'm sure they would be willing to help you like answer any questions and remember that there is nothing wrong with asking questions. So it's definitely good to find these support groups. So good job, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And I think we're good That's for the fun. next slide. <laughs> um, so this is just a picture of um, our state, Virginia. Um, mm -hmm. The whole point of this um, slide is to show you that you know, the schools that we mentioned are not the only schools. Um, so we have 39 public universities. These are some of them. And then below there are private schools as well. Um, mm -hmm. And then community colleges. Um, so there's mm -hmm. a lot of schools to look into if you are interested in coming to Virginia. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Yeah. And that VC <laughs> VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University, my brothers, uh, uh -huh. 
go there. So if you have any questions about that, I, I can always reach out to my little brothers and ask them what it's like being at VCU. And that's in mm -hmm. the, VCU is actually the one in the city of Richmond. Mm -hmm. Nice. And that's Thank the one I told so myself I will never go to. <laughs> Why? Because it's too close to home. It was way too oh, Okay. <laughs> It's not a bad why I went to Virginia anything. Beach. <laughs> I mean, why I went to Virginia Tech from Virginia Beach. <laughs> One thing I will say is I, what I love about all of our colleges is we all have a little banter with each other. So like <laughs> UVA and Virginia Tech are huge rivalries. Like very rivalries in every aspect, like all sports, academics, they will bicker nonstop. While JMU's over here, like the little brother, just like poking the bear. Um, <laughs> like, we're like, we're better than you guys. Um like we beat tech in football one year, one year we beat you guys in football. We have not let you live that down at all. The first year I was at uh, JMU, I went into the cafeteria on a TV. It had the score. It had been six years since we beat them. Six years. That's since so we beat funny. Them. And my first day in the cafeteria, I saw that on the TV. I was like, you damn right we beat them. <laughs> I will say that George Mason does not get too much involved with all this victory. Now, you guys up in Nova, you guys do your <laughs> because, Nova thing. No one wants to travel 95. A, I was going to say because we don't have a football team. That's so if true. If you're interested in American football team, then maybe George Mason might not be the school for you, but we do have other sports like basketball. Um, so that's why that's how we're able to stay out of this uh yeah. sibling you, rivalry <laughs> you and vcu have that immunity to the state rivalry because you guys just do basketball yeah pretty much Lively, did you did you play any sport at, at the university um so i did intramural soccer um, uh -huh, so uh -huh. i used to work at the gym um uh -huh. and our team happened to be from like my coworkers. Mm -hmm. um and then i also did club lacrosse um and uh -huh. some other club sports um, so there's definitely a lot of club sports going on, such as like skiing. I know that's something at Jamie as well. Oh, mm -hmm. ski club is huge. Yeah. <laughs> I was that's never cool. part of that, okay. but I heard, I heard too. stories about ski club. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much. So we are actually going to an end. So if you guys who are watching us have any questions, you feel free to type them underneath the live stream. Or you can send me an email to advisor at fulbright.cz or reach out to me through social media, Education USA Check, and I'll be happy to send it to Magli, Mandy, and Kyle for uh, any further references and connections and experience. So guys, thank you so much. I'm sold. I love Virginia. And I hope that you know students choose to go there. And if there are any questions, I'll keep you posted. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank guys. you. Thank you.